Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So today we are going to be taking a look at how to use an API to uh, uh, display stuff on a web page. So uh, just a simple mock API uh, by type of code. Um, and what they what it basically allows us to do is access a mock blog posts. So here we have like a whole bunch of blog posts, um, each blog post uh, with its own post ID, uh, has the user ID, the, the body of the post, the title. And what we can do is uh, make a request to this API from JavaScript and then display this post data on a web page, uh, something like this. Here's, here's the style that I'm, I'm planning. And then um, you'll notice that the post uh, doesn't display the author name directly, but it does display a user ID. And we can use that user ID to then make another request to this, to this mock API and then get a user object and then get their name right here. So uh, let's let's get started. Let's come over here. I just have a, a an HTML file. Uh, yeah, basic HTML file. I have, I have a few styles here just for the, the post display. This this video isn't gonna be focusing on styling. I will of course have, you know, the, the link to this code in the description. So if you wanna get the styles, you can. Uh, yeah, so I actually already copied the post URL here, but let's just come over here so you can see uh, right here. We're going to copy the, U the URL to it, to the posts. Uh, you can get them on this web page, and I will, of course, have them in the description below. Uh, anyways, so we have the URL copied to get the posts. So, yeah, same URL. The first thing we're going to do is make a request to this web page uh, or this API to get the posts. So uh, we're going to make an async function and we're going to call it get posts. Okay, so now to get to make a request in JavaScript, we're going to say const res equals await, and then we're going to use the fetch. Yeah, fetch. Uh, and we're going to pass in the posts URL. So now all this will do is make a request to that resource that we provided uh, up here, and then it will return the response. And then once we get the response, we want to get the JSON data from that response. So the JSON data is just exactly what you see here. You know, it's, uh, you know, just the data that is from the request and we can access it uh, using JavaScript. So uh, say say we wanted to get the, the user ID of the post. Well, then we could just uh, get, you know, the post.userID. Or if we want to get the title, we could get post.title. So let's actually do that. So let's come over here, const, uh, posts is equal to um, res.json. We're getting the JSON of it. And actually, uh, we can't can't print out the uh, individual post ID yet because right here we have an array of posts. So if we console.log this posts, also let's, let's return the posts down here. And then we will also call this function so it actually gets executed and make sure that it's linked up to our HTML page. Uh, we come to our page, open up the dev tools over here. Here's the console, refresh the page and promise pending. Okay, because why is that? Oh, because we forgot to await. So we have to await the res.json while it gets the JSON from the, the response. Okay, so now here we have all of the posts. So now all we have to do is loop over the posts and display them like we have here. Okay, so let's make a new function called render post. This will also be async so that we can use the await keyword and simplify things a little bit. Uh, yeah, async function render posts. Okay, so const posts, we're gonna get the, get the posts. We're also gonna await that and then we are also, so, so now we're going to loop over the posts. So for, nope, it's, it's posts dot for each post. And then we're going to render the post. So I'm going to make a new function to render a, you know, one post at a time. So async, actually it doesn't need to be async at all. Uh, function render post. And this will take in a post object. Now, like I said, the post object is simply what you see right here. It has a user ID, an ID, a title, and a body. So 
Okay, so now this is where we get into the, the fun JavaScript stuffs. So right here in the HTML, I have a, a section with a class of posts. So we're going to select this section from the JavaScript, and we are going to append uh, separate posts to it. So, oops, let's open that back up. Okay, so first let's get that section. So we're going to say const section is equal to document dot query selector, and then we're going to get it by the class of posts. Okay, so uh, we are also going to create a div uh, to contain the post. So that's what you see right here. We're going to create we're going to create the div itself, and then we'll create the the title, the uh, the author, and then we'll create the body, and we will append that all to the same posts div, and then render it out. Okay, so const posts or post div is equal to uh, document dot no document dot create element because we're creating an element, and we'll create a div. Okay, what else do we need to create? We need to create the post title. So const post title is equal to document dot create element and this will be a an h2 tag and then the author uh yeah const post author is equal to document dot create element and we will just use a paragraph tag b tag and then finally the post body. So const post body is equal to document dot create element. And this will just be uh, another div because why not? Okay, so uh, currently this is not gonna display any of the information that we have from our API uh, because we're not setting any of the content to, you know, to any of the post data. So let's start with the post um, let's start with the post title. So all we're going to do is say post title dot inner text is equal to the post dot title. Now what this will do, it will set the, it'll set the inner text of the post title element to whatever value is in the post uh, dot title attribute right here. So uh, we can actually test this out. Um, let's append. So we're, we're then we're going to have to append it. So once once we're done uh, setting all of uh, the, the text in here, all the data, then we're going to append it to the post div so that it actually and then we're going to append the post div to the section. So uh, let's uh, let's come over here and say post div dot append child and we'll just append the post title. Okay, and now we will append the post div to the section. Oops, what in the world? There we go. And post, post div. Okay, uh, now we should actually be able to, oh wait, got an error, line 32. Oh, right. Okay, so now, now we'll actually call the uh, render post function for, for each of the specific posts. So let's do that, render post and we shall pass in the post. Oops, not the post. Okay, there we go. Uh, that should do it. Uh, just wait a second and absolutely nothing happens. Okay, so why is nothing happening? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's let's uh, just comment. No, we don't need to comment those out. Just ignore them. Um, post that title. Okay. Okay. Oh, of course. Yes, because we are not calling we have to call the render posts function. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Okay, so that looks like it actually worked, except uh, all of the data is... Oh wait, no, it is working. Yeah, we're uh, displaying each of the post titles. Yeah, so each of these titles belongs to a different post. So that's great, that means it is working. Let's uh, give the... Uh, let's look, Well, let's set the, the post author uh, for now, we're going to set the post author to just a filler filler variable, or we'll set it to the to the author ID. What we're going to do actually in a bit is 
make a request to um, to the user's uh, endpoint with the ID of the user and get their name. So we'll do that in a moment, but let's focus on the rest of the posts for now. So we'll just set the post author dot inner, inner text to be equal to the post dot um, post dot, does this have a user ID, right? Yes, the post dot user ID. Okay, so that's good. And then we will set the post body equal to the post dot body. Okay, so now let's come over here and refresh the page. And we have, okay, assignment to a constant variable on line 24. Okay, where is that? Post, ah, yes, because we have post body dot inner text. And okay, that's still not working. Uh, why is that? Oh, right, because we have to append the body to the post div. So post div dot append child, and we will pass in the post body there. So now it should render the title and the body. Okay, beautiful, check this out. It is rendering the title and it is rendering the post, the, the post body. So now let's uh, tell it to, to render the ID too. So uh, let's, We'll pass, we'll pass in the, the post author. We'll, we'll render the post author, af, post author after the title. So post div dot append child and then the post author. Okay, let's see what that's doing. Okay, so right now it's just printing out the author ID. That's fine. Uh, let's also give, now let's give these uh, posts the the styling that I created over here. Uh, to do that, we will just say post div dot class list dot add. And I believe I just called it post because that would make sense. Yeah, so ju this just sets a max width padding and a box shadow on it and a border radius. Makes it look a bit nicer, so let's check that out. Oh yes, beautiful, look at that. Okay, so now we can actually remove our example, our example posts. Oops, what did I do? Okay. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's remove our example posts up here. We don't need that anymore. And uh, yep, this is still working beautifully. Okay, so this is this is working. Uh, we are uh, querying a, an API. We are taking that API data that's that you see over here, and we are rendering it on the page. Um. Now let's uh, make another API call to get the author name because right now we're just displaying the author ID and that's not very useful information. Um, actually, first let's let's give this uh, the the post title. Let's give that a class. Um, let's see what did I have a class over here? Um, post header. Okay, yeah. So post title dot class list dot add um what was it yeah post header that's right post header does that work okay yeah cool that works um i'm actually going to no oh, yeah that's 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 all good okay um yeah now let's let now let's make the api call to get the user name Okay, so this will be another async function. Async function get username. And this will take in a user ID. Okay, so now uh, we need to copy this URL. So just copy that, the user's URL. Const user URL is equal to that. And I'm going to get rid of the one at the end there. Okay, so we're going to make a request to that URL with the user ID at the end. So for example, if we used one for the user ID, then we, we would get this user object. So let's try that. So we'll say const res is equal to um, fetch. Then we will pass in the user's URL plus the user ID. All right, 
Now let's get the JSON from that response or the user object with the JSON. So user is equal to JSON, oops, no, res.json. And yeah, we are going to actually await, we have to await these. And then we are going to return the user dot, what is it? The user dot name. Okay. And actually, if we wanted uh, to make our code more reusable, which we should, we, we can just create a separate function to get the user function get user with the user ID. Yeah, that makes more sense. And then we'll just return the user and then we can just access user.name in there. Okay, so now we can use this to retrieve the 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 user name, the actual name of the user in the, when we are rendering our posts. Uh, so we will also, that means we will have to make this an async function for simplicity. And over here we shall, let's see, Actually, no, we don't have to make it an async function. I believe we can just, okay, so the post author, we will just call, we'll just call the get user function right here, get user. And then once that receives a response, and of course we got a post in, uh, pass in the post dot user ID. Once that finishes, then we can set the user. So this will return a user object user and then we can set the inner text of that and then hmm, that might cause some issues because then I think it would be getting appended last I don't know let's let's try this out so um, user dot name let's see what it does oops wrong thing and Oh, sweet, check that out. So it did in fact work. We have the username being displayed. Um, yeah, so that's actually perfect. Yeah, it's, as you can see, it's it's still querying. Um, it's still loading up. So that's actually perfect because if we, if we used uh, async, if we used a wait right here, then it would have to wait until the entire um, post and username is loaded, which would slow the whole thing down. But as you can see, we are still able to display all of the post data and then the username loads up uh, in its own time. So that's pretty good. So yeah, we, we have accomplished uh, everything uh, that that was intended. We are, uh, we're, we are querying a JSON API. We are getting a whole bunch of posts. We're looping through those posts and we are uh, displaying that post data on the page. And yeah, it even looks, I think it even looks pretty cool. And that's, that's always nice for a simple JavaScript app or any app, <laughs> not just JavaScript. Yeah, JavaScript, you know, has a tendency of looking like crap. So it's nice when you can make it look good. Uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, also huge thanks to my now 51 subscribers. I think I got 20, 22 subscribers in the last month, which is the most I've, I've gotten at one time. So yeah, huge thank you to you. Uh, and I, I hope that we hit 100 subscribers pretty soon. So yeah, if you enjoy this content, uh, please feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.